I'm here to talk to you about some super exciting news if you're using the Gravity Forms Power Automate connector. We've had this connector launched for more than two years now and we have some very happy customers who have given some incredible feedback on this feature. And we have had a couple big asks from our customers on what would make this connector better. So, as of yesterday, we've announced the latest release of Gravity Forms for Power Automate. Three really big changes. Number one, you can re-trigger your flow. This has been the most asked for feature of this, of this connector. So this will allow you to send old entries for the first time using the cool new re-trigger button. I'll show you that in a moment. Number two, there are logs. So starting now, when you've upgraded to the latest version of Gravity Forms for Power Automate, Every time a form submission is sent to Power Automate, a note will be added to the entry on WordPress. And three, asynchronous processing. Your feed submissions are now processed in the background. So all of your other Gravity Forms feed add-ons can do their work first before sending this. So three really cool features and then one bonus that I'm going to show you, but lots of really great things happening in Gravity Forms for Power Automate. Let's start with our first big feature was the ability to re-trigger form submissions. So in order to do this, I will go to WordPress and obviously open up my Gravity Forms form. And then we can come into entries, which is going to give me a list of all of the entries I've gotten. I can highlight the individual or individuals that I'd like to do. And from the bulk actions, here it is, re-trigger Power Automate feed. So the second neat thing is within the actual entry itself on Gravity Forms, which we can see here, this is the one we just re-triggered, it will keep the log for you. So if you come down to this note section, you can see everything that's happened on here. So more visibility for you and the ability to dive in and ensure that your Power Automate trigger and feed was actually run. The third thing we already talked about is just updating that things are processing asynchronously in the background. But I want to talk to you about the bonus features that are coming. So there's a couple things you should know about these bonus features. They're going to change. This is just available if you want to start using things a little bit differently and see a little sneak preview of things that are coming. And this really ties in with Stripe payments. If you're handling any Stripe payments within your Gravity Forms forms, this is going to be a game changer for you. It will change in the future though. So I'm in Gravity Forms Forms in my settings this time. I'm going to go to Power Automate Integration. That's going to load all the details about Power Automate Integration settings. And what you want to do, if you haven't yet, is check this box that says Enable Experimental Triggering on Payment Actions. Now here's where the really cool stuff happens. I'm back in a Gravity Forms form. I'm in Power Automate integration and I'm editing the feed. So that's where we are right now. So now, not only do we have trigger on admission, we also have trigger on all of these post payment options. How incredible is this? Now you can do both submission and post payment actions, but there's a nice warning here letting you know that that will cause forms with payment add-on fees to be sent to Power Automate multiple times. So if you're test driving this and you want to check it out and you really have a great use case, maybe uncheck the box for trigger on submission. So what this means is anytime there's a post payment action, you can select all or from specific payment options here or payment actions here. This will actually wait until those payment actions have completed before sending this to Power Automate really cool things. You're seeing a small glimpse into the version of what the future triggers are about to become for Gravity Forms for Power Automate. All of these post payment actions will be separate triggers in Power Automate, but we heard you, you wanted this feature. Now you can start using it today. Just know that we'll have to redo this and rewrite some flows in the future when we roll out the latest, greatest version of Gravity Forms with all of these awesome triggers. So have fun diving into the newest update of Gravity Forms for Power Automate. Let us know if you're playing around with the post payment trigger actions. And uh, yeah, let us know in the comments what else you'd like to see as we continue to innovate our most popular product, Gravity Forms for Power Automate.